Hello, welcome to Combustion Tutorial 2. So today we are going to do another uh, question with uh, combustion, uh, related to combustion concept. So our question is, we have butane burn with 20% SSR, 100% conversion of butane is achieved in this process, no CO, carbon monoxide is produced. That means this process is uh, occur uh, as complete combustion where only CO2 will be produced. When it says no CO is produced, it's complete combustion process where we only have one reaction which produces CO2 and H2O. It wants us to find the number of mole of the product gas. Okay, see you have butane, we have excess air, 100% conversion of butane and no CO. Right, those are the information. So first of all, the first step is we we have to um, come up with the equation of the combustion. So we know we have butane. It react with O2, produces CO2 and H2O. And then we have to balance this equation. Then we have this equation as our final equation for this combustion of butane with oxygen. Okay. After we have that, okay, the basis given in this process is 100 mole of butane, okay? So, after we get the equation, we know the basis, uh, we draw our process flow diagram. So, we we'll have one furnace because it's combustion, so we use, we replace a reactor with furnace. We have two fed, feed line where one is for fuel butane. And one is for our air. But in this case, I separate air into two components already. Two, 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 two separate components. That is just the number of mole of O2 in and number of mole of uh, N2 in. Because it's air, so it has these two components, O2 and N2. Goes into the furnace. Combustion happens. And from the equation, we know we will produce CO2 because it's complete combustion. We produce water since uh, it says 20% excess air then we expect to have excess of air coming out from this product line coming out as a, in the product line and since we have one unreacted compound N2 so now we have N2 going out N2 in will equal to N2 out because N2 does not participate in this combustion process so, in order to find NCO2 out, H2O out, O2 out, and also N2 out, so we must start with the theoretic, we, uh, we must start with oxygen. The easiest one will be oxygen because we know we have 20% air. But we can calculate what will be the O2 first. Okay, let's see. We have, <coughs> we need to find, uh, in order to find N2 out, we need to find N2 in. In order to find uh, NO2 in, okay, sorry, yeah, just now, uh, okay, in order to find this out, we have to find a uh, number of mole O2 that goes in. So, to find O2 that goes in, we have to use the theoretical uh, concept of, uh, we need to use the concept of finding theoretical oxygen first. Okay, N2 theoretical, based on feed of fuel that we have, so theoretically, if we have 100 mole of C4H10, we require 650 mole of O2 based on the stoichiometric equation. So we have 100 mole of C4H10 will, times with uh, 6.5 mole O2 based on the reaction. So we'll get, if we have 100 mole of fuel, we will, in order to uh, completely uh, uh, react uh, combustion uh, we, we will need 650 mole of O2 based on this okay and in order to this is just an O2 theoretical however we have 20% of excess air that means we have 640 600 sorry 650 mole O2 plus some other oxygen in terms of 20% air so what we have to, now we have to find the number of, uh, we have, uh, we do not know what is the N2 in 
because N2 in is actually 650 plus 20% air. So to find NO2 in, oxygen in, equivalent to 1.2 NO2 theoretical. So this is actually modification from the uh, uh, from the previous equation of uh, finding air actual equals to um, excess air uh, fraction times by excess air theoretical. So we modify, but we can use it that equation also for oxygen. So we use this equation to find the actual number that oxygen that goes in. So one since we have 20% air, 1 plus 0 0.2, so it becomes 1.2 times by uh, theoretical oxygen that we obtained just now. So we do the calculation, so we obtain the actual uh, oxygen that goes in into the process is 780 mol of O2. Okay. <clears throat> Now we know that already, so our NO2 in, our oxygen is, is 700, 780 mole O2. What will be, since we have this, what will be our nit uh, nitrogen in? So our number of mole of nitrogen in will be 1.2, the same question just now, the same uh, um, notification, uh, the same um, Relationship just now, 1.2 times by 600 mole, we get O2. And then we times with the conversion factor of uh, co the conversion uh, relating N2 and also O2 that you have in the textbook, 3.76. So we'll get number of O2 in is equivalent to 2932.8 mole. So we know here, nitrogen that goes in into process is 2932.8 mole. Okay, since we already have oxygen in, now we can find oxygen out. Oxygen, to find oxygen out will be oxygen in minus oxygen used. Therefore, we will have 780 minus 650 mole, uh, 650 mole of oxygen out. We get 130 mole of O2. Why is 650 mole? Because this process is a... Uh, react according to theoretical oxygen because 100% conversion therefore if we have 100 mole we will we, we need 650 mole for the reaction to be completed so 780 minus 650 you have a balance of uh, 130 mole of O2 here coming out in your product stream Now let's find the remaining unknowns from in the product line. So we do not know what will be the CO2 out, the number of mole of CO2 out, and number of mole of hydro uh, water out, the product from the reaction. Okay, N2 out is equal to N2 in, right? Because N2 does not uh, re uh, participate in the reaction, so whatever you get in in will come out as out. Okay, so you know your N2 out is the just now from just from the previous calculation. Okay, now let's find these two compounds, CO2 and H2O. So I would like to use the extent of reaction method because I have information which allow me to find the extent of reaction. Okay, so in order to find the extent of reaction, I will use the O2 balance. So from O2 balance, I will get the extent of reaction value for this reaction. So I know 130 mole of balance of O2 just now equals to unreacted or balance equals to whatever O2 that goes in, which just now we get 780 mole minus, because it's, uh, this O2 is a reactant, so minus 6.5 times by the extent of reaction. So we obtain our extent of reaction value equal to 100 mole. And then... Using this extent of reaction, um, uh, we I inc I use I do the CO two balance to find the C uh, CO two out here. So I I do not know what is CO two out yet, but the the based on extent of reaction is equal to zero because we do not have any product of uh, CO two plus four times extent of reaction from this reaction, and then we get. 
the uh, 400 mole of CO2 to find the H2O out so we use the H2O balance so from the H2O balance uh, using extent of reaction we obtain the amount of H2O out equivalent to 500 mole of H2O that is how we solve for this question